Welcome to St. William's BBS production of the of Cruising with Noah. We hope you enjoyed your coffee and donuts. Thanks, Miss Beth. Now sit back and relax and enjoy the show. <coughs>
records of the generations of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his time. Noah walked with God. Noah became the father of three sons, Shem, Ham, and Jacob. Now the earth was corrupt in the sight of God, and the earth was filled with violence. God looked on the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way upon the earth. The earth is filled with violence. I am about to destroy them with the earth. Make for yourself an ark of gopher wood. You shall make the ark with rooms and shall cover it inside and without pitch. This is how you shall make it. The length of the ark, 300 cubits, its breadth, 50 cubits, a cubit, its height, 30 cubits. You shall make a window for the ark and shall finish it a cubit from the top and set the door of the ark in the side of it. You shall make it with lower, second, and third decks. Behold, I, even, I am bringing the flood of water upon the earth to destroy all flesh, and everything that is on the earth shall perish. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife and your sons' wives with you. John, Ham, and Jacob, come here. I need your help to build the ark. Why are you building an ark? There's no water here. God told me to build it because he is sending a flood and you need it so we will not die. Pam and Jacob, where are you? Come here. I need your help to make you to make you to make an ark. And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every kind into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. Of the birds after their kind, and an of the animals after their kind, of every creeping thing off the ground after its kind, two of every kind will come to keep will come to you to keep them alive. As for you, take for yourself some of all food which is edible and gather it to yourself, and it shall be for food for you and for them. According to all that God had commanded, and so he did.
You will be soon. <laughs> Over. 
<laughs> the water prevailed upon the earth 150 days. How much longer till we get off? Also the rain from the sky was resigned, and the water receded from the earth, and at the end of the 100, 150 days, the water decreased. In the seventh month of the seventeenth day of the month, the ark rested upon the mountains of Barat, and then it came about the end of the forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. The window's open. I want to see. Stop pushing me, Ham. <laughs> then he sent out a dove from him to see if the water was abated from the face of the land, but the dove found no resting place, so she, ret so she returned to him into the ark. <laughs> so he waited yet another seven days and then again sent out the dove from the ark and then the dove came toward him came toward evening and behold her with a, in his beak with a freshly picked olive leaf so no one knew that the water was abated from the earth Then he waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, but she did not return to him again.
The Lord of the Ark, you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives with you, bring out with every living thing of all flesh that is with you, birds and animals and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, that they may breed abundantly on the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. Of a covenant between me and the earth. When the bow is in the cloud, 